Oh, hello there. Sorry, I was just admiring the wide selection of trailers we have available for your viewing pleasure. I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV. Glad you're tuning in. I'm going to show you a trailer today that I really, really like. It's a four horse living quarters made by Cimarron with a pro line by Outlaw conversion. The reason I really like this trailer is, is it's a 12 foot eight short wall with the slide out that we'll get into, but this trailer is only 30 foot, three foot, uh, 30 foot, three inches on the floor. So it's a very easy to get around trailer. It's not huge by any means. If you don't want a massive trailer with a, with a slide out, this is a great little package. But let's take a peek at it. It is stock number 5N190726. It is a 2020 Cimarron North Star four horse living quarters. As I mentioned a minute ago, this is a 12 foot eight with a slide out. And I touched on it on a video I did last week, but on our slide out trailers, we like to go ahead and put the dual jacks. And the reason why is it just gives a little bit more stability to the trailer when you're unhooked with that slide out. We like to do that on all of our Cimarron's when we do a slide. And that's an electric jack? Those are electric over hydraulic jacks. So they're very, very resp responsive. Your electric jacks move very, very slowly. Um, the electric over hydraulics, the only way we go on these trailers very very nice system and it has a manual override as well on these trailers one thing that we've done is we've upgraded to the 30 pound lp tanks we try to stay away from the 20s nowadays the reason why is we just figure figure you're on the road a lot uh, there's no real reason to be continually changing over 20 pound bottles you know we can basically get you three 20 pound bottles with the capacity of the 230s We've also put the battery box with the battery disconnect in there. And one thing that's kind of hiding, I want to show you back here, is an exterior water spigot. So if you need to fill up a water bucket, rinse off your hands really quick, or you have a lot of you that are traveling with dogs that might need a drink or something like that, you can fill up their water from right there, which is really, really nice. So we have this awning out. This is an electric awning. If you look underneath it, there's some lights underneath. And then you've got these exterior speakers. So this is a great place to entertain outside the trailer. Friends come over, practice your social distancing. You can sit out here and visit and do everything you want to outside this trailer underneath the awning. But now, let's jump in here to this living quarters. So again, I really like the size of this trailer. Again, it's a 12 foot eight short wall. This is a Liftco electric slide out. With this sofa sleeper, it also folds down into a bed so you have that that secondary sleeping area and then also outlaws gone in and put you some storage underneath this this couch just trying to take advantage about every nook and cranny we can we can because we know you're going to travel with a lot of items but when you get into this this trailer i mean it's a very very well equipped trailer we've gone in um and added flat screen TV up into the bed area. It comes standard with your flat screen in this layout above the 6L refrigerator. But again, we felt like let's go ahead and upgrade you to a secondary TV up in the, the sleeping area, up in the nose there. And then from there, I mean, you've got a really good setup you've got dual sinks which is really really nice rather than just having one sink here if you want to wash some dishes have a place for them to dry not taking up one 
and then this recessed two burner cooktop which is great because you're not giving up a whole bunch of counter space if this is a raised cooktop. Then you've got your microwave. Up above the door is a couple hat racks for you. So again, just a nice place. It's up out of the way. Outlaw is so good at coming up with, again, those nooks and crannies and little places we can take advantage of storage. I mentioned that 6.0 refrigerator and freezer. That way if you're traveling with a lot, of, a lot of food, a lot of frozen items, you're not dealing with what I call the little dorm fridge, which is the smaller. So the other thing that I really like about this layout is the bathroom. A lot of the size that we've added as far as short wall link to this trailer is actually put into the bathroom. So as you can see, there is a lot of room for you to get into this bathroom you can actually stand at your bathroom vanity and not have to hover or kind of brace over your toilet as you're getting ready. You actually have a, a designated area you can stand. Again, your toilet, your radius shower with that skylight in there. And one other nice thing about in this bathroom is this closet. That's a nice big closet, double clothes rods. And as you can see, your table for your sofa stores in there out of the way. Outlaw does a great job. That's an access down into the furnace that is right below that. So again, they do such a great job on being able to access all the components that we need to keep this trailer working and functioning correctly for you. You got this also, also a nice pocket door. So instead of it swinging one way or the other and you having to step around it, that pocket door is really, really nice, stores out of the way for you going down the road. So again, I really like the, the size of this trailer. We kind of mixed up the colors a little bit. We did a lot of silver accents to this trailer. And instead of just going with your brown on brown, we tried to mix up the color on the couch a little bit. I think it gives just a different look to these trailers and, and it was a really nice finish. So again, this is a really well-equipped trailer. With this slide out, it really opens up. You're not having to stand on top of each other if you're cooking and eating dinner and watching TV and easy access to the bathroom. So again, a 12-8 short wall. This is a pro line by Outlaw. So let's go check out the rest of the trailer. So a couple things we've been doing here at TransWest um, up to this point, you know, we, we've every once in a while put an amber turn signal on a trailer, but now we are basically putting an amber turn signal on all living quarters and anything that's kind of right around that 28 foot or longer on the floor. We just feel it's a great safety aspect for you as the driver and then other drivers around you. That will indicate when you're wanting to get over. We know these trailers are long. Also, it's a great marker light. You know, this is an eight foot wide trailer, so it's just one more. Yes, you do have your button lights back here for markers around the fender, but that's just another light that you can see as, as just a, a judgment going down the road. On this one here, we went ahead and put drop windows at stall one and three and bus windows at two and four. Just gives you a lot more airflow through that trailer. Here in Colorado, we do have hot weather, but we don't have to deal with the humidity that a lot of people in the South have to deal with. But this is a lot of airflow through this trailer, keeping the horses nice and cool. You've got your 17.5 wheels and tires. Those are aluminum wheels, 16 ply tires. 
We mention it time and time again. You have a one year, no questions asked warranty on those tires, two years of roadside assistance as well. If you hit a nail, a screw, anything that can't be patched, you take some pictures, you send it to Lion's Head, and within a couple days, you have a brand new tire. As we step to the back, again, we talked about those drop windows on the hip wall. We put one on this back door too. So you can manipulate airflow through this trailer all you want. You might even get to the point where you step in the back if, if you're bedding with shavings, and if all of a sudden you have shavings on the top of a horse's back, you know you have too much airflow, and you need to start kind of closing some stuff up or manipulating it with your, with your roof fence. But this is a cool little feature on this trailer, on this back door. Independent doors that Cimarron does. So I can open up the tack or the stall area. Doesn't matter in a certain order. You can just open them up if you'd like. We'll jump here into the stall area. Once again, kind of talking about airflow and just temperature control. On this trailer here, we opted for the jail bars on the dividers itself. So again, just creating a lot of airflow through the trailer. Padded dividers. And then at stall number one, you have your stud divider. I mention it time and time again. There's a lot of times you're not gonna be traveling with four head. Sometimes you will, but if you're hauling with three or two head, you know, this is a great stall for extra storage. You know, a lot of hay, a lot of buckets, extra feed, extra bedding, coolers, anything like that. And then you don't have to worry about things getting underneath horses and transport that you're not aware of and you're bouncing down the road and they're fighting with that. It'll just keep everything nice and secure up there in that first stall. The other thing you can do since you have that pass-through door going into the bathroom is there's an escape door. So you can almost use that as like a little mud room. You can jump in to that first stall, kick off your dirty boots, clothes, whatever, and then you can just hop right in there to the bathroom. So that's a really nice little feature there. On your Cimarron, we talk about it time and time again, you have the industry's best flooring. It's a 12 inch deck. It's double tongue and groove that locks together. It's four inch centers. So we tell everybody time and time again, think about hoof size of your horse. Wherever they're standing, they're standing on the support beam. So industry's best flooring. Then again, we have that insulated roof, which is gonna keep this stall area nice and cool for your, for your animals. And it will take some very large hail, which is fantastic, so you're not having to deal with that. Then as we step out here, this is a folding rear tack with a four tier removable saddle post. What we're seeing is a lot of customers want trailers to be versatile one way or the other. So yes, maybe you're hauling horses, but maybe you wanna take this up hunting, you wanna jump a four wheeler or something like that in these trailers. You can remove this post, fold this down, and, and pull those toys in there. So that's where that folding rear tack has become so popular. Over on the tack door, you've got a four tier blanket bars that fold out on a gas shock and then also a brush tray for your little items not to bounce around. Behind this door, is your easy angle ladder that you can jump up and access your hay rack and then your generator and platform. So we've had this Onan 4000 gas generator running the whole time during this video. And the reason why I wanted to do that is to show you how quiet these generators are. You know, in the living quarters, you might just barely hear a hum Obviously, as you get to the back where the exhaust is, you might hear it a little bit more, but those are super, super quiet generators, you know, not making a lot of noise. 
you can sit out underneath that awning and visit with people, not have to scream at each other. Um, but a nice feature that we've done. The other thing is right here is our gas cap and our gas fill for that generator. Driver side of the trailer. So if you stop to fuel your truck up, you can fuel your truck up, pull up to the pump, fill that with gas. So it's all on one side, very, very convenient. I've got the mangers and the drop windows open on this trailer. You know, you've got a lot of storage. We all travel with a lot of things. This is a great place to kind of keep feed, you know, folding lawn chairs, anything like that can go in there. Um, sometimes customers like some hooks to hang items in these mangers. And we, with our parts and service department can go in and add those inside this area if you'd like. But I'll show you these drop windows. This is massive framing around these drop windows. These are heavy, heavy duty windows. A lot of times you'll see trailers that don't have hardly any framing around them and I can literally put them in my hand and just kind of wiggle and the whole window shakes. Now this is an LQ. It's not as noticeable, but I mean, you can crank on these windows all you want and they are not going to budge. They have a really nice seal to them. You know, not having to worry about water and other moisture getting into them. You can travel going down the road with them. Down, you have your jail bars. We can go in and get you some, some uh, netting if you'd like to go over those jail bars. And then up front, here's your escape door. Again, I kind of talked about using that as a mud room. One thing we went in and did was add this fold up step. So again, if you are gonna use that and needing to access something in there, it's just really easy, easy for you to jump up on that, that step and get right in there. So we've got the slide out right now. See that from inside. But again, looking at the size of this trailer, this is such an easy trailer to get in and out of places because it's only a 12.8. But again, you have that, that slide out. And I really, really like that layout because it really opens up. It's very comfortable. And again, if you don't want that massive living quarters and really making that trailer long, this is a great package and a great setup. Um, we can do these in twos, threes, fours, fives, whatever you want. We can build this trailer. You can mix up the colors if a little bit if you'd like, and we can do whatever you want to the trailer. But this one's here, available for you today. So if you're interested, give us a call. Again, my name is CJ Altenberg. My number is 970-391-0337. Give us a call. Let us know how we can help you out. Thanks for tuning in.